This is a new game show we can do. Does Donkey show up in the AI-generated Shrek script? I'm going to say, here's the story of Shrek at the top. Does Donkey actually show up at all? In the first zero to two minutes, two to four, four to six, or it doesn't show up at all before six minutes? Get your bets in. I feel like that could be like a first sentence, dude. I have no clue. That's your starting line, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, how long does it take for the AI to generate Donkey into the story of Shrek? Ready, set, go. Here's the story of the hit movie Shrek. In a faraway kingdom, there lived an ogre named Shrek. He was not just any oaf, he had a brain, and he could speak like a human being. His best friend Donkey was quite clever. Absolutely crushed, dude. Absolutely roasted. Insane. Insane. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Let's do a different different movie with a slightly more obscure character. What's like a really well-known movie that we're all familiar with? That like everybody's familiar with. And then we and then we pick like a, a side character and we see how quickly that side character comes up. Star Wars. Star Wars is a good one. I want to do Star Wars rather than like Mega Mind or yeah, or Lion King or something like that. Star Wars is good. Jar Jar Binks is not gonna show. How about Star Wars and Yoda? Like Yoda is fairly specific, but baby Yoda also could be there, dude. Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt is way too specific. Jar Jar Binks is too specific too. He's only in like two movies. So the prediction is going to be, does Yoda show up in Star Wars AI? Ready, set, go. This is the entire story of the hit movie Star Wars. It's just a few minutes long, so you can watch it in one sitting. But if you want to know what happens next or how the story ends, well, that's up to you. Han Solo and Princess Leia are on their way home. They're going to have to go into hiding for a while, but they'll be safe there because the Empire will never find them, right? As soon as they get back to Han's ship, he starts asking questions about the Death Star. Where did it come from? Who built it? Why would anyone build such an enormous weapon? He doesn't like to think about it, and neither do we. But some questions don't go away no matter how hard you try. And when Hans discovers something that nobody else knows, it changes everything. I've got a bad feeling about this, says Chewbacca. Classic. He's right. Something is terrible is coming. But what? And who will stop it? The galaxy needs heroes now more than ever. This could be Yoda. Right now. So who will answer the call? Princess- Oh shit! I mean, it just lists all the characters! It just listed everybody, dude! Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, Yoda. Oh, absolutely roasted. Han and Luke return to their ship to find someone waiting for them, the bounty hunter Jabba. That's not correct at all. Damn, dude, option one crushing it this time. This is a great new game show. How long for divorce to show up in a- There's no way. Would it know? I don't know if it would know. There's no way divorce would show up. What if the first word is divorce? What if the only word that it generates is divorce period? And then it's just done. It's just done. Doug Doug is a popular gaming YouTuber. He makes videos about Let's Plays and particularly does a lot of Halo 4 content, which has been very successful. His channel currently has over 5 million subscribers. He also runs the website Fandom Phenomena, where fans can discuss their favorite games and films with other fans. Tonight, I'm going to be playing through an episode of his new series, The Doug Game Show. Okay, this is interesting. In this episode, he plays as a character named Sugar Cube, although it's not explained how this is pronounced. He's a space mercenary who uses his abilities to get out of sticky situations. The opening sequence shows a, shows a Sugar Cube getting into a spaceship, then crashing onto a planet before we get any dialogue. Back in the ship, we're treated to a cutscene where he talks to his AI companion who tells him that someone tried to kill him while he was down there. The AI knows that I make videos about AI, apparently. Guys, I don't think divorce is going to happen. What the hell? The Church of the Flaming Sword is a small cult based out of a small village in rural England. Many years ago, the villagers lived in peace. However, one day a stranger came to town. His name was Father Dave, and he claimed to be a holy man. Honestly, this is a higher chance of having the word divorce, whatever this is. Father Dave taught them the Bible, then he suddenly vanished. Nobody knows what happened, but in his absence, they began to worship him. They built a shrine and prayed every day. More people joined the church. The villagers eventually forgot about the true God. Over the next couple decades, the Church of the Flaming Sword grew and prospered. They took in orphans, helped out the poor. The people of the village saw the good the church was doing, accepted them as their own. But one day, the villagers received a letter from Father Dave. He claimed the church was now under attack from demons and that the villagers must defend themselves. They laughed and then they started to hear strange noises from the forest and they started to see frightening creatures. A huge demon appealed in the middle of the village. <coughs> what is going on? It killed dozens of people and destroyed churches. Then Father Dave showed up and told the villagers he was able to defeat the demon because he'd been blessed by God. Now the villagers feel the demons more than anything else. They believe that Father Dave is a prophet, that he was chosen by God to fight against evil. That, again, was all about Doug Doug is a popular gaming YouTuber. Congratulations, doubters. Hey, Sugar Cube, didn't see you there. Could you say hi to Duke Doug for me? Hey, it's me, Sugar Cube. That's not how you pronounce it. Well, we don't know how to pronounce it. We have no idea. It's Sugarukubu. <laughs> I don't think that's how you pronounce Sugar Cube. We're going to have to generate the full script of The Lion King 
and we see how quickly it generates Pumba. Pumba my pants, got him. <laughs> it's pronounced Pumba. All right, that was good. First funny poop bloob reference in about three years. This is the full story of the movie the Lion King. The Lion King was released in 1994 and became a huge hit. It tells the story of Simba, the lion cub, who leaves Pride Rock to seek his destiny. He meets up with many animals on his journey to becoming king. Along the way, he must overcome various obstacles to achieve his goals. The Disney animators did an amazing job capturing the essence of Africa and bringing it to life through animation. If you haven't seen the film, I highly recommend. Okay, Simba's scar father, Scar, has become the new leader after Mufasa's death. Oh, that's correct. He plans to kill Simba so he can be the next king of Pride Rock. However, the hyenas throw him off the cliff instead, and he lands in a thorn bush where he is stuck for days. A baby bird named Timon, Timon is one of my favorite characters, finds him while looking for food himself. She takes pity on him and nurses him back to health. Somehow has dodged Puma so far. Meanwhile, Scar continues his quest to kill Simba by killing Zazu, the only other animal who knows about Simba. As a result, he ends up being killed by Simba when he tries to attack him. This makes Simba the new king. There are some great scenes in the end credits too, which shows what happened to each of the characters after the story ended. There were two sequels, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, and The Lion King 1 and a half. Both of them are pretty good, although they aren't as well known as the original. I hope you enjoyed reading about The Lion King. How did it dodge Pumba? Timon and Pumba are supposed to be together. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Oh my god, in this episode we're discussing the Civil War. How America was divided. We also discussed the Civil War itself. And look back at the effect it has. I mean, we'll keep it going. Maybe somebody in the world will be named Pumba. Finally, we finished the episode by discussing slavery before moving on to the Reconstruction Era. Enjoy! You may have noticed that I'm not using the full title American Civil War. It's because there's actually more than one in war involved in this conflict. While it's common knowledge that the Union and Confederate armies fought against each other, it's less known that both sides had several allies during the war. In fact, Britain supported the Confederacy from the start, while France remained neutral. Germany, Austria, Hungary, Sweden, Russia, Spain, Denmark, and Mexico all provided support to the Union. Japan and China also gave aid to the Confederates, and the Ottoman Empire sends military supplies to the southern slave owners. That is not correct. People often associate the Civil War with battles such as Gettysburg or Antietam. However, most historians agree that the real turning point in the war came at Shiloh when Robert E. Lee fought under the command of General Ulysses Grant. It's not correct. While the battle itself was relatively small, it proved decisive in the long run. Victory at Shiloh stopped the Union Army's advance and allowed the Confederate Army Confederates to regroup. Puma might go to war. The Battle of Gettysburg marked the beginning of the end for the Confederacy, and the rest is history. Kind of true. This is the full story of the movie Jurassic Park. Okay, maybe Pumba is a Tyrannosaurus Rex now. Jurassic Park, directed by Steven Spielberg, was released in 1993 and made over $1 billion at the box office. Not true. It tells the story of a theme park populated by dinosaurs brought to life through genetic engineering. The main characters are Dr. Alan Grant, who's tasked with researching the island, and Ellie Sattler, who worked on the security team. They're joined by Lex, the raptor trainer. That doesn't seem correct. Owen, the ex-marine who helps him escape from the T-Rex and a velociraptor named Blue. Yeah, this is increasingly incorrect. I hope you enjoyed reading about Jurassic Park. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is the full story of the movie Cinderella. Hold on. The last prediction is like till till six minutes, right? Okay. You have a minute and a half for Pumba, for Pumba to show up. I gotta say, your odds aren't very good. I wish you the best. Here we go. Cinderella, directed by Kenneth Branagh, was released in 2015 and became the 21st highest grossing movie of all time. Tells the classic fairy tale of Cinderella who finds herself in poverty with her mean stepmother and stepsisters. One day, the prince arrives at her home to meet his future bride, but she turns him away, believing him to be a thief. What? When the prince becomes injured, he realizes that the girl he loves is truly the one he should marry. With the help of the fairy godmother, Cinderella finally goes to the ball and meets her Prince Charming. While Cinderella isn't as well known as the likes of Snow White or Beauty and the Beast, it's still a great Disney film. One of my favorite scenes is when the king orders the prince to take a test that will reveal his true nature. He's forced to run barefoot across the burning sand while a pack of wolves chases after him. The scene is beautifully animated and really captures the fear that the prince must have felt in that moment. There's also a short film called Once Upon a Time in Anatolia, which was released alongside the original theatrical release of Cinderella. It follows three Turkish families who are taken hostage by terrorists. During the ordeal, Cinderella comes to the rescue and rescues a young boy named Danger. The short film was nominated for an Academy Award and won Best Animated Short Film at the 2015 Oscars. This is the full story of the movie Jungle Book. Sorry, we aren't going to get to watch Jungle Book because six minutes is up. You lose. The winners of the prediction are the people who said there would be no Pumbaa. Congratulations to the 18%. Pumba might have been one of the terrorists. Probably he was. Dude, I can't believe that it dodged Pumba at the beginning. A baby bird named Timon finds him while looking for food. She takes pity on him. They got they turned Timon into a bird and then just left out Pumba.
Well, that was a stream. Nobody can argue that this was not a stream. This was the most stream. It's definitely one of the streams of all time. 